Okay, now what I'm going to show you is, so this video is running. I'm going to go in multitasking mode. One button takes me to multitasking. This application is running. Now I'll open a new one. So I'm going here. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to open another application. Let's say I'll open an organizer. And, you know, I can add, add things to my calendar and so on. Go back to the multitasking. So now you have two windows running simultaneously, right? I can add another one. Let me actually go back. Bring the, the voice dialer. So now I have three applications running. Right? Cool. Performance yeah. of Moorstown. Now you, you can have this view or you can go in this view. Nice. And then you have three applications running at the same time. Wow. Um, made possible because of this unique um, aspect ratio. Yeah. about um, IDs, RFID, readers, scanners, whatever. I'm a little bit, you know, this is this is German, so maybe our uh, German manufacturers building this. But now let's take a look at the at the future of ID cards. Can you see that? So we have a kind of moving 3D picture that is showing the face from from all of its side. Might sound a little bit scary for you guys, but uh, I guess this is something that we will see in the future. Um, the Spaceman display card uh, made by Aided uh, Association. And it's the first time I've seen anything like this. It, Nicole. This is called Infoscape, and we developed this specifically for CES. You know, Intel just released our, had our largest product launch in over 20 years. We're showcasing the power behind our Intel 2010 Core i7 processor, but we're also giving people a chance to explore how they might access technology and information in the future. So as you know, we look at ourselves as sponsors of tomorrow, and a big part of that requires us to look at a variety of human factors. How are people looking at information? How are they interacting with it? This has about 500 live links, pulling from about 20,000 different content sources, including Google News, Flickr images, blogs, and tweets about what's happening here at CES, to information, obviously, about our new core processor family. And then we have quotes from people around the world. You know, part of our Sponsors of Tomorrow initiative, we're looking at, what do you want to see? How do you want to see information down the road? So. How is this running? What's the technology behind this? So the technology behind this is really straightforward. We're looking at a double HD display. It's amazing. <laughs> running on a Core i7 processor. And the idea, again, was to really showcase the power behind the processor. One processor, just one. Just one. One. Are you sure? I'm totally <laughs> sure. I know. I know people are amazed by that, but it's absolutely true. tablet prototypes of future ODMs are going to pick it up. And you might know that we just uh, got this rumor out that the new uh, EPC tablet will be based on NVIDIA Tegra. And finally, we can see um, already the ASUS tablet concept over here. So this is running NVIDIA Tegra. I'm not sure if it's a first or second generation of it. Um, what is also kind of interesting, you know, we see all different form factors. There's a little uh, Vistron NVIDIA Tegra. Looks like a five inch tablet uh, we, and you might be interested to see this one the Foxconn because there are quite some rumors that Foxconn is the manufacturer of the Apple tablet so we see here um, the Foxconn N928 a tablet based on the Nvidia Tegra platform also I would say it's the first generation of Tegra What I really like about the App Up Center is 
it doesn't feel like just a website. You know, the App Up Center itself is an application and it shows you what you can do with a network. When, we, when we're comparing it to ordinary app stores, I mean, right now we only have experience with app stores on smartphones, so that's on a pretty limited display, like three to four inch. And um, the way you guys are taking advantage of this bigger screen, higher resolution, getting more content and information that will help users to uh, get to know about this future application they want to maybe buy or the free ones they're going to download, getting some screenshot on there, reviews and everything. For a beta version, I was very, very impressed. Not because it looked so technology-wise advanced, because it was very simple. And I think that's what it's all about, because netbooks are appealing to the average user. So this week we announced uh, the Intel App Up Center Beta, uh, first available on Windows and shortly available on Moblin. The Moblin version is really exciting because it fits the Moblin look and feel. And the Moblin site is slightly different from the Windows-based site because we really want to address the user in the way that they're used to with Moblin and Linux. You will also find some applications um, unique just to the Moblin App Store and some that will be on both Windows and Moblin. And what we see over here is called um, WaveFace. That's just an outlook into the future of the EPC family, or let's say the E-family. Because that's the next generation of the EPC that you can see over here. And ASUS is also coming up with this huge screen. You see that? can even get it off. It's so huge, I have to walk back. Hold on. There okay. we go. <laughs> so, you see, we have a little tablet design down there. And on the very far end, you can see a kind of wristband. So, the funny thing about all these devices, they can kind of communicate with each other. So, you can get, uh, you can share information from your next generation EPC to your wristband and to your TV screen and to your tablet and to whatever you're going to use and what is part of this EPC, a Wayface uh, family. So we would like to award the worst carpet of the show to South uh, to Central Hall. This is the worst carpet of the show. It is terrible to walk on. Yeah. My feet might actually fall off walking on it. Yeah. I, what do you think about this most terrible the, carpet? I have to say the carpet in the South Hall had a uh, worse pattern. But it Yo, was softer. Yeah, a couple yeah. of mil, more giving it. Definitely softer. What, what are you, got any tips for the best carpet of the show though? Well, uh, who was it? LG had a pretty good carpet. Yeah. Intel, Intel's pretty good too. Do you, you want to go and just test this one out? Well, let's test this one out. Let's do a live test of this carpet. Live test of this carpet, okay, all right. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's a quality that's carpet. Good. I mean, if you actually look, right, yeah. you can look. see how high this, how much higher that I mean, carpet that's, is. I that's like that's good, 20 mil of exactly. carpet quality. Right? And something special here. Look, when, you're, when you're walking around for days and days, on all these carpets, you really start to notice because your 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 feet are bloody stumps. Absolutely. Really, by this point yeah. in the show. I think um, I think more people should be having the 20 mil carpet. You know. I so do I. Just don't go experience. cheap, or else we won't come to your yeah, booth. That's it. Yeah. And he just doesn't care. back to the main menu. Also, this is a new system or the new icons that Audi has right now. Let's go to navigation. And Audi is using now an NVIDIA chipset. So now oh. that's why all the graphics and all the content and all the terrain looks like Google Earth. Let's go to destination address. And let's enter a street. And you're doing that. So if you notice, this is different from it was like two minutes ago. Now it's a character recognition. So now it's calculating the route. 
Let me show you. Um, now that you're in navigation, you can also access to the, your radio station. So that's why the numbers are, those are like your six pretty fine radio stations. Well, it's, it's one hand control, one hand navigation. So when you're driving, you can just reach down. So this is uh, based on the Moblin uh, 2.0. Okay. Right, you can see, um, you know, all of the. These are all my my address book. I can scroll up, scroll down, and it kind of tells me all the people in my address book. Um, it also has a uh, integrated messaging center. So all the people that you know, Twitter updates, Facebook updates, all of the ones. They come in one place. Uh, this one, yeah, well, this is all the Wi Fi. Um, I don't think I'm going to be connected because everything is blocked yeah, out. Yeah. Um, this and really no. So these are all the applications. So let me show you, um, I'm going to try and show you Quake. I'm going to see if Quake runs. Again, this, I don't have the controls for it, but, um, you know, it's going to be playing it um, <laughs> locally on, on the device. So this is. There you go. So at about 30 frames per second, no problem. We've actually got it more, running more than that.